lived in Batavia for about 13 years. I uh, grew up uh, as a, a young child in Chicago, in, in the city. Uh, then we moved to the suburbs when I was about 12 years old. I lived in the southern suburbs uh, for about 10 years. Uh, and then uh, was married and kind of lived in the suburbs uh, my whole life and been in Batavia, like I said, for about uh, 13 years. Uh, for me, the suburbs uh, is kind of an ideal situation. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to work uh, in the suburbs. I, I work in a suburb about five minutes from where I live. Um, so it's kind of about a lifestyle for me that, that I'm close to home, uh, I'm close to my family, uh, so I get to spend a lot of time with my family. So being in uh, a town like Batavia, um, it, it works out really well. It's a nice town, it's a nice small town. Uh, there's a lot of things here for, for kids. It's a nice place to raise a family. Uh, so kind of from that lifestyle perspective, um, this works out really well for me. Um, I wake up early, I go to work, I, I do software development, um, which is a field that, again, I'm very lucky that I can do that out here in the suburbs. Uh, most people have to go into the city to do that uh, type of work, but I'm pretty lucky that I get to stay out here. Um, I get off of work about 4 o'clock, I can come and work out for an hour, and then still be home by 5.30 to do things with the kids, do homework, go for bike rides, um, all kinds of things. So uh, the suburban setting, uh, here uh, for me has been has been great. It's been just ideal. Um, you know, it's not without its drawbacks. I mean, it's, it's a small town. Um, you know, sometimes you miss the uh, kind of the hustle and bustle of the city. You know, you know the shows and things like that. Uh, but you can always go to the city. Um, but I rarely do actually because I don't like the city very much. Um, so, uh, so I, I see myself staying here for for a long time. Uh, being in northern Illinois has its drawbacks with the winters and. Uh, Illinois politics and uh, things like that. So, you know, maybe someday we'll move uh, somewhere more southern, a little more temperate climate. Uh, but for now, for uh, kind of the life that, that I want to lead, and kind of being able to spend a lot of time with the family, and kind of being in a kind of a quiet town, more or less, uh, this is kind of an ideal situation for us. Uh, I'm lucky. Things about like Chicago that's awesome, which I think people come home for. Uh, this even caught me when I was younger. Is like you get done and you're so used to being around people. Uh, like college, you're around a bunch of young people. And there's just a bunch of activity going on. So people come home and then they move to the city because there's always something to do. Uh, you can see any band, pretty pretty much of any type, uh, any night. There's gonna be someone playing. Uh, if you have a favorite food, um, like say you want Thai food at 2 in the morning, you can get it in the city. Um, and there's just so many people, it's like always active. You can look outside and there's always going to be people walking around for the majority. Um, in the suburbs, like it's, it's, well, it's 8 o'clock almost, so if things are shutting down, people are going to sleep, and it's great for families. Uh, and now that I'm older, I'm, I need things to shut down because uh, now I got a family and it, it's just easier for me to, to unwind if everything's just getting calmer and slowing down. Okay, so these are Cub Scouts from Louise White School, which is just about half a mile away. And they start in first grade and they go through fifth grade. Um, and we do an annual fundraiser, which is selling popcorn. Um, so we do two weekends outdoors and then we do door to door for all of September and October. So it's 60 days of popcorn and we take all the proceeds and we send the boys camping. We send them, they do overnights at the museums, like the Museum of Science, Science and Industry. Last year we spent the night at the Field Museum, so you get to sleep on the floor of the museum. After hours when it's closed, you get like a private tour of the museum. We also go to um, like hiking in a cave in Iowa sometimes, or a submarine in Wisconsin. 
then we ask the boys to give back um, to the community because the community gives us popcorn and all the money. So in November, around Thanksgiving time, we normally do a project at uh, Feed My Starving Children. We'll make bags of rice meals to ship to kind of poverty-stricken countries. And then again in April, we do a fun uh, food drive where we put grocery bags outside of houses and collect bags of groceries. And last year, I think we collected 350 bags of groceries, and it goes to the food pantry downtown Batavia. So it's, it's kind of give, give and take. We ask for money from the community now. We try to give back a couple things during the year, and then some other things that I think teaches the boys some good skills um, so that they grow up to be a little bit better, hopefully, than without scouting.